It's times like this when you realize just how mentally strong you really are. Good evening, internet friends. How are we doing today? How are we, Amarelle? Are you looking at your bu at your water buffalo horn? Do you want it? You can go get it. How are we, Riddler? How are we, Sassy? Well, you guys are probably a little bit annoyed. Because I just washed off his belly. Because his belly's all broke out. And I brushed his teeth, which he doesn't like. Amarelle got... Emeril and Sassy both got ear cleanings and teeth brushing. Sassy's ears are of course the worst and you can't see the dirt because her ears are dark just like the stuff in her ears. Gross! So, how's the day been today? I went to work. Uh, sorry, that was <laughs> from my mom. Um, but started out in the morning with my boss overwhelming me very quickly. She, for some reason, really wants our room decorated for 4th of July, even though that's not for another month. I don't know why she's obsessed with it. But she's like, hey, let's hang streamers on the walls. Let's do this. Let's do this. And I'm just like, ugh. So, luckily, I was able to get out of the streamers because she learned I'm too short, even when on a chair. So... Um, she got a taller girl in, who's apparently going to be in my class permanently now, so I think she's the one replacing me, which, hey, I'm okay with that. Um, and then there's these Father's Day gifts that are like Father's Day, Fourth of July mix that she wanted the kids to make. Like, we had made part of it last week and we finished it today. I kind of think they're kind of dumb, but everyone else thinks it's cute. It's like little toilet paper firecrackers, and it says, Happy Father's Day, you're the bomb. What I originally planned for the kids was to make, um, like, I'd bring paint pens, and we'd get, like, some dollar store mugs, and the kids would make coffee mugs for their dads. Because I figured, you know, dads have a lot of different things they like. Why not make something that the majority of them would like, which is a coffee mug? But apparently that's too expensive, which is like you just needed to get mugs from the Dollar Tree. And I would provide the paint pens. But, oh well. It's like, my boss wanted me to come up with activities and crafts and all this stuff. But she has her own compl different agenda, which is really annoying. Because I'm like, well, what was the point of having me put all that work in if you just don't want me to do it? And then, of course, she had us decorating our door. She's like, oh, your door's not decorated yet. And I'm just like, well... I don't know when you think I have the time to do that when watching over my kids, which was some of them being complete backtalkers, it's like having double the kids. It's irritating. And then there was more crafts that she wanted to hang from the ceiling, and I'm just like, ugh. So between that and the kids... And for some reason, the girl that was working with me got a two-hour lunch break, which doesn't make sense, because we only get an hour. By the time I got off of, for lunch, it was like two, and I had a panic attack on the way to get food from Taco Bell, because I'm just like, ugh, overwhelmed, couldn't stand it. Um, you know, it also made me think, though, that it takes a lot of mental strength. Like, people... I've mentioned, oh, I'm overwhelmed, but people don't realize how anxious I truly am, how overwhelmed I really am. And really, jo at jobs, I don't tell anyone about my anxiety unless I become friends with them. And luckily, this is my last week with the preschool because this is the most anxiety-inducing job I've ever had in my life. And um, yeah, fun times. Did I give the receipts? No, I didn't give the receipts for it. Crap. Anyways. Um, I got back, finished the day out. Got home and was just like, no, tired. But I ended up getting some stuff done. What did I do? 
Do I remember what I did? Did I vacuum today? Or was that yesterday? Yeah, I vac... No, I vacuumed yesterday. Yeah. So, there's that. Um, and then, I finally did some yoga again tonight, which I haven't done in a while. And it was pretty good. I put laundry away. I organized my desk and my bedside table. Um, I did dishes. And then I was like, you know what? Let me use the last bath bomb I have. Which, I'm not going to show you guys any footage of it because that bath bomb, it was another De Bomb Bath Fizzers, but it disappointed me a lot. Like, it was supposed to be cotton candy scented, and the bomb itself smelled amazing. But when you put it in the water, it didn't smell as good. It smelled like perfumey. And then, the water took forever to change color. And it just wasn't as magical of an experience as I've had with the past two bath bombs I've had. But I did get a little toy piece of candy inside my bath bomb, which is why I love the bomb bath fizzers. Besides the colors, I like the prizes inside. <laughs> I don't know, it just makes me excited. So, got things done, also did a little bit of self-care, so, woo. But I'm so ready to finish this week already, because I don't know how much more my mental health can handle like, I'm just tired of constantly being tired. Like, this job makes my exhaustion worse. And now that I'm not, I don't have my Ambien right now, which I need to call the doctor tomorrow and see if they prescribe it. I mean, it's harder to get to sleep. And then put on top the overwhelming of my boss being like, hey, let's do this, 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 this. And I'm like, why? No. Stop. And then... The kids, and just the kind of high demands that this job has. I'm just like, uh, uh, uh. It's times like this when you realize just how mentally strong you really are. Um, like, and I mean, this is kind of sad. Like, if you're mentally ill, then you are definitely mentally strong. Because you go through the day... And you hide the fact that you have a mental illness. Let's face it, we've all done it at one point. If, you know, our mental illnesses can do it. Um, we've put on a smile. We're like, oh yeah, we're doing great today. No, my life is total chaos and darkness and yay. Um, and it takes a lot of mental strength to constantly when you're out in public, basically keep up a front, keep up a lie of, oh, I'm doing great, nothing is bothering me, my entire world is falling apart around me, but I'm doing great. So, that's kind of the thought I had. Because to everybody else, I look like I know what I'm doing, but my anxiety is horrible. And it's like overwhelming me so bad. But I don't feel like I can tell anybody. Just gotta put on that smile. Yay. So now I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Question of the day is, and this is going to be a tougher question, what is your definition of mental strength? Like... Obviously, mental strength can be different for a lot of people. I've already explained mine. It's being able to put up that front that we feel like we have to in order to, you know, survive in public. But what is your definition of mental strength? Put your answers down below, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Good night, Riddler and Riddler's butt. Good night, Sassy. Good night, Amarel. Tweet dreams!